hopefully not starving to death out in the desert. Wait. So do you think that me and I pull out the scrap of his hat? Hmm. Oh, that's his, uh, that's Gadaz, right? He's... Drop it. <laughs> Why'd you drop it? Do you think that... Do you think that's his? It's Gadaz, of course. You seem so sure? Well, it looked like the same color. You see, uh, Buzz kind of step over and he kind of, you know, picks it up. Kind of looks at it. Um, I mean... What are the odds? What do you think that is, Buzz? I mean, I, I'm not equipped to analyze it very much, but I, it looks pretty similar. And then I, like, right as he finishes saying that, I smack it out of his hand. I'm like, don't you, don't say that. We can't be sure what it is. Well, well, I shouldn't jump to conclusions, but... I mean, there's a very real possibility that... We went out looking for dead, And I can live with that. But that's not his hat. I am in full denial of that, as crazy as it might sound. Okay. But I'm just saying, it's a piece of fabric, and it was around the same place where we think we lost them. So it could be. I thought that once about another situation. Turned out to be something different. But I taste what that was to be sure. I don't think I can taste hat. <laughs> and you're just well, a, a, for hat. a little, like, uh... Bing bong, like kind of noise, and then uh, I hear a bing and, bong, and yeah. uh, <laughs> Nemo bing Nemo bong. chimes in. It appears that you have received a reply to your previous uh, request for assistance. It's been like how it's long? Been. Yeah, yeah. It's been. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I forward it to your displays? Business is business. Let's do it. Okay. Let's put that conversation aside. Mm -hmm. And you guys both get a uh, reply, and it looks like there's a group of individuals that are uh, wanting to meet to discuss the job further, uh, but they have expressed interest in helping, uh, and they reference that they have searched for people previously uh, in the desert. There's a, it, there's a group, and they, they show interest. <laughs> I see that. That's a good sign. Does it say the group? Your marketing worked. Hmm? Does it say the group? Uh, no, but uh, the person that replied, uh, looks like their name uh, was Chet. Chet. So whispery. Whispery. Do you think maybe it meant a chat? Like, <clears throat> this was a group chat? And they were all responding in, in one time, or...? Are we dealing with somebody whose name is, is the, actually Chet? This this is the guy? Do you think somebody's parents actually chose to name their child Chet? <laughs> Somebody chose that name for that poor bastard. I know. Tet. It's a good strong name, a lot of consonants. Yeah, what? Zidix. Also, a lot of consonants. It's just a, a noise we make. Chet. I mean, yeah, there's consonants, but not the right kind. It just comes out the mouth ugly. Chet? Chet. Well, it sounds like, well, where I come from, uh, Chet oh, don't, is something I don't, is very I don't know. biological I don't and know. in nature to our <laughs> species. It's something we do during our coitus. You kept talking. I didn't want to know about it. Well, He's right. I about he it. he asked you to. Uh, well, now you know. You had a chance to say coitus. <laughs> now I'm going to meet this person, and I'm not going to be able to take them seriously, no matter who they are. All I'm going to be thinking yeah. about is their chet, and your chet, and how you're chetting all over the place. A, a chet. <laughs> it's it's a chet. So so he is a a chet? Or he, well, he has might just a have, chet? How, how have, does one a chet? Like, what? what you want me to... How do, I, how do I conjugate? You want me to go into this? No, I'm talking about in language. How do I use that word? My context, you would just say, I want you to chet me. Go <laughs> <laughs> chet yourself, dude. I think that's a strong it's, it's, teaching. It's a heavy example, handed, but we gotta get down to business, and I'm gonna chet you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I can say that somebody stinks like chet? Uh, or, or, it sounds like you could, but. They, they look like they. They're on a, on a walk of Chet. Mm, it's more like a, a verb. Like I'm gonna 
check you. <laughs> Buzz is like, I'm learning things today. I know. School's in session. And I don't like them. <laughs> well, you're, you're just happy I'm not going into the action. Of no. If it's already in my brain, I might as well know how to say it. There are some mysteries of the universe, boss. I think that should be left unanswered. Just saying. But so should we search out this Chet person? Yeah, let's go see what what the Chet this person looks like. Huh? Is that is that right? Yeah, let's let's just put that conversation <laughs> to rest for see, a See, I'm learning. All right, go find these people. All right, uh, they um, mark on or they had given you just a uh, uh, location. It looked like it was about three or four levels down. It was a uh, sort of a residential area. Well, not, not so much residential. It's just a less busy commercial area, but um, you know, it looks like it's a fairly uh, trafficked area as far as like um, people moving around. So uh, you guys travel down uh, through the various catacomb-like uh, catacomb uh, hallways of the hive market, um, and uh, you reach this uh, area where it's a modest kind of uh, bazaar of sorts um, and uh, in the center area it appears there's just this uh, like it's some very obtuse looking uh, monument and you're not sure like the design because it looks like it's just half kind of like a it looks like it was like a, a water type formation that kind of boiled up and then it just sort of spread out and then it stopped and suddenly turned into sand because it looks like it should be falling down but um, as you notice as you're walking it, it actually is slightly moving and it's it's a very strange structure it's almost like a, a, a stationary like sand fountain kind of frozen in time um, but kind of sitting there you see um, four individuals uh, two humans uh, Kasathis and uh, Yusoki, and they're all just kind of like sitting there. The two of them are chatting with each other. Um, the one seems to be just kind of uh, looking through their uh, data display unit, and then the fourth one, the uh, Kasathis, sees you all approach and uh, nudges one of the humans, and the uh, human looks up and sees, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you guys kind of are, oh, guys. well, approaching, because it uh, the rest of the traffic in here, uh, it's a, it's a decently busy market, um, but, you know, there's a definite difference between what they're wearing, which appears to be, you know, very, uh, weathered clothing, overlapping some decent looking, you know, equipment like armor and such. You can see that they are, uh, armed, but, um, you know, they're not like brandishing, brandishing them, but there's, you know, people that are just very purposely moving through the crowd and they're very static in this area. Well, telepathy, you, I think we got our guys. They're decked out. Which one do you think is Chet? <laughs> I'm thinking the one that looked like Sorn. Wait. With his office. The human. Which human? They all look so similar. That one looks like you. They're, yeah, but the human, their face structures are all so, they're all the same shape. I just, I think humans have, you know, a tendency to use names like Chet for years. It's good. Yeah. It's good deduction. Yeah, well, that's my logic. <laughs> Let's follow it. I have no better clues. Beautiful. Let's places. approach. All right. So you, uh, all three approach, and uh, the one human who was uh, kind of nudged, um, stands up, the uh, Yusoki and the uh, uh, other human stand up, but he uh, kind of steps in front of the three, and just kind of waits for you guys to approach, you know, just hands down to his sides, kind of just in a very, you know, kind of casual sort of stance, um, and he uh, looks at you guys as you kind of get up close. So, I take it, uh, you're the ones that need a little assistance finding someone. A few... Yeah. Yes, we are the leaders of uh, Sony Prentice Enterprises. Mm -hmm. You may address us as Sir and Mr. Sir. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, uh, 
I'm Chet. This is uh, Carl. <laughs> Telepathy. Told you. <laughs> yeah, I like stifle uh, a little. Uh, he points to the uh, human. Uh, that's uh, Carl. Um, Zai is the Casathis, uh, uh, as he points that way. And uh, that's uh, that's Stitch. Uh, and he kind of points down to the Isogi. And the Isogi, who's just kind of standing there, just nods at uh, you, Wilson. And uh, he's like, cousin? And he looks at uh, Zidix, and he's just like, Man, not cousin. <laughs> I blink each eye visually. Um, and uh, after a second, uh, he's like, "Well, um, anyways, uh, you uh, gentlemen were looking to hire some help, right?" And yeah, we're looking for a few companions of uh, we lost in the desert. Yes, that's correct. Your, your prospective employment, we don't ask much of our employees. Uh, we will go through a very serious vetting process, uh, background checks. We will be having uh, drug testing just before we get going with things, just to make sure everybody's on, on the same level. Um, we'll talk about wage uh, once we get into the actual duties that we'll be having you perform, but I think equal pay is, is uh, definitely an option on the table. 